what is up youtubers well i kind of wanted to go over this this morning and i'm sure i'm going to get some haters out there but uh chuck this is that uh plastic pop privet gun i uh, sent you a bunch of uh, text on it uh just kind of show you guys a little bit about it tell you a little bit about it um i don't know the difference between just a regular pop rivet gun and it um it's df dash c t eight eight seven um paid 99 dollars for it uh i don't know uh you know i'm sure i'm gonna get some people out there telling me that i paid too much or or whatever and i know you can get cheaper on a lot of different sites and things uh at the time the gear wrench truck was here i needed it i bought it you know whether i paid too much for it you know that's beside the point uh, it comes in a uh, package uh i like it uh that i don't you know and i've used about all the the pop rivets up uh these are 5.0 millimeter here and these are this is the the pop rivet here and it is DF-CT87RS. And these are the 6.3 millimeters. And it's DF-CT887RL. And this is the actual pop rivet gun. Um, it's got two, it's got a, uh, one for the big, uh, for the, uh, so 6.3 and one for the, uh, 5.0, uh, and there's the company and you can go to that website, I'm sure. And, uh, research it. Uh, I know the, the pop rivets are a little bit more pricey through these and even the gear wrench guy told me that you know if he sells the pop rivets they're a little bit more i did not know harbor freight sold them uh, but it, it's been a good set i've used like i said i've used uh, just about all the pop rivets out of it i gotta go get some or order some and i didn't realize that harbor freight had them so thank you chuck i'm gonna go to harbor freight and get some and i'll let you guys know how how they work out uh but once again it's a little dirty but uh you know it, it's been a very very good uh pop rivet gun i do a lot of dodge challenger front ends we take them apart and that when we do the lighting and stuff and uh, it, it really really comes in handy um these I, I i've not tried it i don't know whether it works or not i know that just this one it'll fit in this one but i i don't know i think it it crushes it it, it just grips it too too tight or something I, I just i don't think it works very well another place uh or another item i've got a couple magazines here let me throw this one off to the side I kind of wanted to go over this with you a little bit. Um, it's called TSI or Tool Supply Inc. And you can go to their website, www.toolsupply.com. They're drill bits for, uh, they've got them on sale for uh, this particular set and it's made in the, uh, the, the USA. It's, uh, Fifty-nine dollars for for the on the sale price. Um, their taps. I've used some of their taps. Uh, I really like them because they uh, last. Between them and the drill bits, you know, you don't. As long as you use, uh, and I don't know if you guys uh, use any uh, cutting fluid at all or whatever. But I love this tap magic. Uh, it, it's just it, it's one of the best cutting fluids out there and i use it for everything that uh i use here in the shop you know when we're drilling and that it sticks to your uh, drill bit or your tap and, and that's what you kind of want it's a little bit bit thick i don't know what it is it stinks 
uh, fairly fairly bad. But I recommend that you get some of that, and, and your drill bits and things will last a lot longer. Um, they've got everything for your uh, lathes and things. Uh, they've got, uh, you know, your dial indicators, your micrometers, you know, just if you're into all that stuff, um, you know, a, a lot of the, uh, what do I want to say, precision uh, machinist tools, this place has it, and they're, they're fairly reasonable, guys. Um, you know, if that's what you're getting into and that, um, I really recommend this, this place because, you know, they, they've got just about anything uh you can imagine for uh for for doing the uh, machinist you know that they, they even have like for 49 dollars this is a uh, three-piece machinist tool kit i mean you know you get your uh i think it's from one zero to one inch micrometer uh you got a six inch calipers uh let me see a six inch ruler i believe it is and it's got the fitted plastic case which you know most of the time i see when they come in that it's just the cheaper cases i wish they'd you know do like snap on or then put it in a little bit better case but you know um uh, it, yeah, there's just a, a lot of good stuff out of this book um, you know if you're into or gonna get into the machinist part of it or, or gonna have lays and, and things uh, you know this is some of the stuff that, that uh, you gotta have uh, you know we had a set like this at the last uh, place I worked and I know we paid it was shoot five or six hundred dollars and this is on sale for 199 i mean you 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 can't beat that, that that's just um their uh drill mills their flute uh carbon end mills um you know it, it's just overall you know the, the prices i know what some of this stuff costs because i've i've you know i've had to uh you know i've used some of it you know, I don't know a whole lot about it, but, you know, I was learning when I was in the factory. You know, I had an old-time machinist that was kind of working with me, and uh, I kind of wished I'd have paid a little bit more attention to him. Uh, he had, or uh, we had a couple of the uh, grinders, you know, and I would love to have this grinder for, uh, you know, it's it's a little pricey on it. It's uh, 14 12 uh, but I love it because it's got... You know uh all the the guards and things but what i like about it is it's got these trays down here that that hold it in you know we had one in the shop and that thing lasted forever you know you could do just about anything with it and and that's what uh we used to uh get aggravated because you know we had one like this for our uh we would just use it strictly for uh doing our uh, uh why am i not thinking the stingers for your tigs and that you know the the tips we would uh would sharpen them well then you'd get somebody or one of the machinists would come over and they would put a uh, a greasy drill bit or whatever sharpen it on there well it would screw when you go to to uh tig weld or whatever you'd wonder what the heck was on it and you know it would contaminate it i guess is what i'm looking for um they used to contaminate our uh and a lot of people say oh well it don't matter with the uh you know the grinders and things and I, I disagree on that because i've been down that road and same way with you know your drill bits and, and things like that but i'm rambling once again but i think overall this is a good place to uh to get your uh machinist tools and things and i just thought i'd you know for those of you that's that's into that you know you can uh, get just about anything imaginable for your, like I said, for your drill presses, your lathes, your, you know, all your cutting tools. Um, 
you know some people don't uh I've had a gentleman tell me that, yeah, you know, he looked through it and, and he, he just, he said, well, I'm not that impressed, but, you know, I think it's, it's one of the better places. Um, I'll buy my drill bits from them. I've got drill bits from them and, and I like them. They, that, like I said, they last, uh, you know, I've got uh, uh, several sets of these and I've had them for, for a couple of years, you know, I've got every size and I've got the the uh, the sets of them, you know, from half all the way up, you know, it, it just they overall have some of the better better tools. But you know, I'm kind of rambling this morning. That gives you some idea. These little tool carts, I think, are are neat for uh, the the storage for you know your end mills or you could use them for drill bits or you know just you can use them for just about anything um that's a good price on their uh their sander uh rolls you know you, uh if any of you guys have ever uh, got to use one of these um you know for the money wise i don't think you can go wrong um we used to have one in the shop and we would use it all the time i liked it for uh not a whole lot of people would use it um i would put my uh, tungsten or whatever on uh my uh drill and you could turn it on and it was a variable speed and you could adjust the speed on this and it was it was handy because you could put it in your dewalt drill and just turn it on and if you kept it at a speed you know you'd get your tungsten or whatever sharpened and and uh it, it just worked out really well um they're, they've got some good files um I, I, I like their files um you know they've anything you can imagine <coughs> excuse me they have uh you know they've got their the uh the brass hammers you know you can get uh the brass hammers and, and things and you know you're gonna pay a little bit more for their their brass hammers but they're they're gonna last you uh it's just overall i just kind of want to throw it out there to you guys you know they've got a lot of good stuff uh, but once again, it's uh, Tool Supply Inc. And you can go to www.toolsupply.com and uh, I'm sure they'll send you a, a book. Uh, this is uh, the place that used to be here in the shop was a machine shop. They had several bays. They moved on to bigger and better things. Another place that I think you guys might want to check out is this Auto Body Tool Mart they have just about anything and everything uh <coughs> getting all dry this morning but you know you can uh, you can see that you know they've got paint lights uh fans um they've got the uh, foam uh, which i need to order some more of that for my uh, paint booth uh they have paint booths um, they have portable paint booths, um, you know, I don't, I've never used one, uh, they're a little bit pricey, I can buy a, a regular paint booth, shoot, there's just a, a regular paint booth for 5000 they won a, uh, shoot, almost seven for, for the portable ones, but they've got some pretty good prices, and if I get a building in that, I plan on getting me probably i'll buy the paint booth through these these guys and once again it's auto body tool mart you can get the portable and the four post uh <coughs> excuse me four post um you know or your your little portable uh car lifts uh these are handy i've got one that you know you can walk around especially if you got them guys that lifts their trucks up and, and you got to do any work on them they come in handy you know uh 
you know, their body paint, you know, hangers, uh, hangers for your doors, hangers for, you know, just anything and everything. They got all uh, the dollies. I've got some of the dollies that you roll around uh, your cars and things. This one here, I'm not too sure about for $4.49. Uh, it lifts your whole car up so you can work on it. I, I guess it lifts it, you know, tips it to the side, but I don't know if I trust something like that. But I noticed uh, after I uh, told you guys about the uh, plastic pop rivets, I noticed in here, and I don't know, uh, I think Chuck had said something about, you know, he didn't pay a whole awful lot for his, but they've got the uh, pop rivets in... Uh, in here for uh, forty three dollars, I think that's a little bit high. I use a lot of these fasteners and things, and that's why I wanted to go to the pop, plastic pop rivets. It's, it's just it's so much cheaper. I mean, you you get a couple packages of these, like uh, the ones I use are eighty nine dollars for. You get two hundred and fifty, and you know it's just it's just not cost effective for me. You know some of these they're a little bit cheaper, but not a whole lot uh you know you can get a different uh book how-to books you can uh, just overall it, it's got any type of tool imaginable and i just kind of wanted to throw it out body hammers uh you can buy uh the uh, nip it i guess they're like the 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 one snap, I still like the snap-on ones, and nip-it pliers, I can't even say it this morning. Um, it's just, you know, they, they've got some pretty good deals in here, and I just kind of wanted to let you guys know. Once again, it's Auto Body Tool Mart. Um, you know, you can get their uh, wet sanders. You know, I've always been wanting to, to get me one of them. Uh you know, if you do any or do as much wet sanding things I do, you want to find the cheapest and the easiest way out, especially when you're wet sanding. But I'll still use my spray bottle and my old sander and just keep it oiled. It's just when I've got one of these um, air cocking guns, uh, haven't had a chance to use it. Uh, I bought it because it was on sale and I got a, a better deal with Ingersoll Round uh impact that i bought it, it just uh it was cheaper to buy both of them at the same time and have these people ship it to to me um you know i, I got the uh, nascar and i keep bumping the camera but uh i got the nascar uh and i don't know if they're in here ingersoll ram i was going to try to find it and show you guys uh Anyway, I think it was for a hundred, hundred and sixty-nine or so. Uh, you know, let me pull it out here, move you guys around a little bit. But this one here, uh, off the gear wrench truck, it's two hundred dollars, and I got it for one hundred and thirty-nine. I believe it was. And I got it, and then the, uh, I think I gave 25 for the other, but I had to make up it, you know, do enough. I think it was, a lady told me, she said if I'd done $100 worth, and I bought some other things, that she would ship it for free. So that's what I did. That's why I bought the, uh, the air uh, cocking gun. But, and I was just noticing, uh, I'd seen these on the, uh, gear wrench truck the other day and once again these guys he's just a little bit and i understand the gear wrench guy has to make his money but these are a lot lot cheaper um for their uh sanding blocks or whatever uh you know if if you do any sanding you can you can relate with it uh these blocks here i i've gotten before too and you know, from what I'm seeing, the price on them, you know, I think I paid for the long block, this one here, um, 
Wow, I think I pay. They're saying that, that one there is $34.99, and I, I know I paid a lot more for mine than that. So, you know, some things you can watch, and if you order it, you can get a, a better deal. But overall, I think, you know, it would be... This would be the way to go if you do any auto body. Their spray guns are a little bit pricey, you know. I don't need a spray gun with a woman's face or a cartoon character for $700. It just... <laughs> and the way I go through paint guns, you know, it just... I could buy probably 16 paint guns for what they're wanting for that. But that, that's for the, the professional. And, uh, you know, that's just move you guys back here and then but I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys and and you know go go over some of the the stuff in these books I've been meaning to do it for a week now but I just hadn't had a chance and I'm cleaning up here in the shop and throwing things away that probably needed to be thrown away and and I'm you know in the process of getting the other shop at the other house and me and a buddy was talking, I think I'm going to add on to mine. I think I can go uh, 30 by 20 more feet, and uh, that'll give me plenty of room for the... Uh, we're going to make a small paint room in there, I think, and we're going to do some, some other things to where I think I'm going to put my... Uh, tables and stuff in there for the hydro dip i'll have to walk you know a little ways to the tank but i really want the tank on the on the concrete floor uh but overall uh, i'm you know things are starting to pick up here um i just i don't see the uh the what do i want to say it picking up enough to be able to you know pay the rent and stuff and still you know make a profit i'll just put it that way uh you know if you get into business guys you know check everything and especially uh and i i see it and i'm one of the few that has lasted uh in this area and i hate to say it this way but i've hung in there with the hydro dip and long longer than anybody you know most of the time i'm hearing some of these people uh are a guy had bought the tank and stuff and didn't even get started because you know it, it just you know the business wasn't there he wasn't you know once he opened the doors and that uh people knew that he was doing it but it, it just it wasn't you know wasn't paying off for him like he thought and that's what I'm trying to tell you. You need to diversify. And I, I'm, I'm going to get back into the uh, window tent part of it. Uh, I know I can do it at the house. It's been years since I do it or have done it. Um, I've got enough film and things here that I can afford. You know, I stuck my neck out on it and bought a bunch of stuff for my window tent guy. And it's just not being used. So, you know, I'm going to practice. I've got some windows at the house. I've got a couple old Camaro windows and I'm I'm gonna practice getting back into the window tent part of it um, I've done a lot of uh, pen striping and uh, I'm, I think I'm gonna get my uh, airbrushes out and start practicing more with them and and do a little more airbrush and, and I think overall you know with the hydro dipping and stuff like that I think think I can make it work uh, you know I'm gonna do some some other things but you know, the main thing is just dusting yourself off, getting back up, and, and moving on. And, you know, that's one thing you got to understand, guys. If you're in business for yourself, you're, you're, there's going to be times that you, uh, you can't shrug your responsibilities. you got to, uh, you got to just uh, get a hold of yourself and make the decision that, that, that you're going to to do it, you know, no matter what. And you're going to have so many people tell you that you can or you shouldn't or, you know, and I had a couple people, you know, I've had several people tell me that, uh, which makes me feel, feel good that, you know, 
that you're not failing, you're just regrouping and getting back, you know, getting a hold of it and, and you're not, uh, you're just, you know, uh, and I know a lot of people has, has had to start over. It's just one of them things that it, it's hard. Um, you know, I've worked my tail off for, for everything and I've told you guys this before. Uh, you know, and when you put your life savings and you take that chance, you need to understand that there's a possibility, even though you took that chance, that it may not work out and you may have to regroup. And that's kind of the situation I'm in. And I pray to God every day and I thank God every day for the opportunity and for uh, helping me see, you know, that, you know, things, you know, could be a lot worse. Um, you know, there, there's people out there that's a lot worse than I am. And, you know, I thank him every day for everything I have. And that's what I'm telling you. Don't go into business thinking you're going to make a million dollars, you know. And, and I know several people that's that's got into business, and I'm hearing rumors of a business that, He's a young man, and uh, he, uh, he's been very successful out of the, the get-go. But now he's on a downhill slide, and I won't, won't go into detail. But, you know, it's, it's well known that, you know, he's probably going to end up losing the business and everything that he's worked to get because he let somebody influence him. And, you know, once you get into that situation and you listen to other people or you let other people steer you in the wrong direction, uh, there's a possibility or a good chance that you're gonna lose everything you work to get. And there's some people out there that love to create misery. You know, they, they wanna bring you down. And that's the only thing I can say is just stay around positive people. Be a positive person. And I know this is coming from somebody that's been negative here lately, but be positive if, you know, whether you believe in God or not, uh, you know, just stay positive because if you don't, it's gonna bring you down so, so much and so fast that, that you, and Satan, that's what he wants. He wants to, to uh, bring you down to his level and he wants, you know, he wants to defeat you. And if he can, you know, he's gonna suck every bit of life out of you. And that's one thing that you, you have to understand. Uh, business is kind of like that too, you know. Um, there's people out there that's gonna suck every bit of life out of you. And, you know, me and the neighbor was talking, he was telling me about a lady that, uh, you know, he's bent over backwards for her, and uh, one of his guys did something wrong at her house, and he fixed the problem, but now she's throwing that back up in his face, and being that it wasn't documented in that, she's threatened to sue him, and he's give her almost seven to $8,000 of, uh, you know, free stuff or free labor, I'll put it that way, and, you know, she has the goal to come back and want to sue him and that's what he said she just ruined it for everybody else he said next time somebody's down on their luck or you know need a, needs a break he said I, he said i can't do it he said you know she owes me seven thousand dollars but she thinks that money's owed to her because of her inconvenience and you know he's you know he said it's probably going to end up in, in court and that, and that's beside the point, but he, he was just kind of telling me how, you know, he he was trying to help somebody out, and, and he said he every time he gets kicked in the teeth, and, you know, he, he started over several times. And that's what I'm just telling you, you know, you've got to have the, the grit. It, it takes a lot to run your business, and, and you know, I hear so many people, well, all you do is just open the doors and here you go, but you don't think about the lights, you don't think about your uh, insurance, you don't think about uh, your taxes, you don't think about your state and federal taxes, you don't think about your business license, and I could go on for a half hour here, folks, and 
that's before you make any profit at all. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. If you're going to go into business, research, research, research. Don't just take, you know, think that you're going to jump into it because, you know, I jumped in and I knew there was certain things I had to do, but I did not research everything. And I wish there would have been somebody out there like me telling me what I needed to do as a startup business and, you know, being uh, new into it and starting fresh. And I've talked to several businessmen that, that have said the same thing, you know, if you start from scratch and, and you achieve your goals and things, you've got something to be proud of because you've started at the bottom and, and you know what it takes to be successful and, and you hang in there and you do what it takes to to be the best that you can be but you know i'm kind of rambling this morning i just wanted to touch base with y'all uh, like share comment subscribe uh go watch uh chuck auto pro interiors go watch uh, jay young uh bruce allen uh Snap on junk, uh, yeah. Snap on junkie, uh, Garnett Tools. I'm missing somebody, but you know, help support this YouTube community. You know, uh, go, you know, subscribe to these guys and get on on there and just help one another out. Uh, once again, uh, God bless. Have a blessed day, and we'll see you in the next video.